much sugar binga bungas welcome back and if you're new come on now do the right thing so today i want us to talk about why men cheat still inside me coiled deep was the need to know are you cheating, are you cheating on me are you cheating on me i personally view this as self-inflicted abuse keyword self-inflicted females are naturally compassionate giving nurturing forgiving and very very selfless now as beautiful as these qualities are they often lead us to our demise ask yourself why in this day and age with so many strong intelligent and independent women men still cheat like it's going out of style i think men cheat because uh, because i can why do men cheat? Because they're probably not happy with the relationship they're in. I think it's in men's DNA to have more sexual activity. They're lonely, they're, they're pigs. I think it's expected. Not expected, but uh, allowed. If, really? if men cheat, well, it's not allowed. by me. We constantly hear males of different ages, ethnicities, backgrounds, races, you name it, preaching that cheating is natural that it's an innate feature in the male species and therefore all men cheat. They substantiate their argument by making reference to their fathers, their grandfathers, their great grandfathers, etc., etc., who did it and who continue to cheat till this very day, regardless of how satisfied they are in their relationships. Men generally view cheating as a way of life. They feel that women have always been aware of it that women have accepted it, and that women even encourage it. It makes me sick to my stomach to admit that this is true. An aunt of mine even advised me to stop leaving men for cheating on me, as they all do, but to rather find one who'll do it respectfully. Huh? Oh, You're yeah, 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 right there. I'm moving. Yo. <laughs> Going to ride the storm? We can we can we can beam them as soon as they go up here, man. Okay. I don't have a like, mask. Yeah. They're gonna be over there. Yeah. Right, we're right, we're yeah. Hi. Yeah, I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. Bye, babe. Alright, I see you, man. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> First of all. The fact that you're cheating on me reflects the lack of respect you have for me. Secondly, not only are you disrespecting me, you're also humiliating me in front of the whole world. With all these scrumptious and successful men constantly hitting on me, the thought of cheating on you never crosses my mind. Hell, I even go as far as bragging about you. Furthermore, you're exposing me to so many diseases, some that haven't even been discovered. Who fight, bewitch, and even kill other women over men. So, you're putting me in the firing line. You're basically punishing me for loving and respecting and being faithful to you. I could go on and on until the end of time about the dangers that cheating poses, but at the end of the day, I think we can all agree that cheating, or rather being cheated on, hurts to the core. Not only does it make one question themselves in so many ways, but it also diminishes one's trust for others, making it very difficult to be open to healthy relationships. Ultimately, one may even end up throwing in the towel and completely giving up on love and rather committing to a life of cheating, which then leads to a vicious cycle of spreading heartache and diseases. Nothing beats loving yourself and knowing your worth. Important conversations should be had in a relationship from the get-go. Communicate what works for you and what doesn't. If you're into sharing your partner with other people, let it be known. Although I truly don't believe that there are people who genuinely are into this. I just feel like people have settled and they have become convinced that there's no way that you can find someone who's all about you or all for you. So they just settle for just playing around and testing the waters and acting like they're nonchalant and 
and so on and so forth. When in actual fact, we know that like, that's not really nice. Nobody wants to share someone that they genuinely love and care about. There's no way. Oh, no, 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 baby. And if cheating is a deal breaker for you, communicate that and stick to your word. Stop giving free passes. No, love yourself. You teach people how to treat you. We've watched beautiful, sexy, powerful women like Beyonce and Cardi B repeatedly being cheated on by their husbands. We've seen them threaten to leave. If you try this shit again, don't lose your life. Yet staying and accepting this nonsense. You know, I know, I, babe, I know you've done some dumb shit. I know he done, we, everybody know he done some dumb shit. But come on, now. niggas ain't dumb. Niggas ain't crazy. We've been so good. We had, we had a sweet weekend. Um, life has been good. Niggas ain't gonna play themselves like that. That's why I'm not entertaining it. That's why I'm not getting no rowdy. Go ahead, y'all. Simple as that. Okay. Some may argue that they didn't sign up to be role models. The truth is, young girls and females of all ages across the globe are influenced by them. And they start to feel like if women of such high caliber are constantly disrespected, disregarded and cheated on for the whole world to see, and they take it and they put up with it, then who am I to expect more from men? Although our lives may differ significantly from the lives of these influential women, one thing we do have in common is the fact that we're all women. Now Beyonce, Cardi, and all these women who constantly put up with disrespect before, during, and after having walked down the aisle, knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. Many women subject themselves to years and years of pain and suffering with the goal of ultimately becoming wives to their torturers. <laughs> Honey, a ring doesn't mean a thing. You're still marrying that very same person. And if that person doesn't want to change for themselves, not only for you, but for themselves, then you'll be singing broken hearted girl till the end of time. I truly believe that dishonesty plays an immense role in the destruction of many relationships. I know sometimes people may argue that they get bored and they feel a need to explore some newness, or other people simply get comfortable and they start to feel like they can do as they please. There's no manual. We're all just trying to figure it out and ultimately settle for what pleases us to the fullest. But I do know that love isn't supposed to hurt. And I do know that transparency is key. If you no longer want to be with someone, don't string them along. Stop always expecting to have your cake and eat it too. Stop going through his phone only to cry, stay and continue to endure the pain. Quit falling for the love hurts trap. Love does have its challenges, but it's kind and it's blissful. The aim is to find out who you're dealing with. And if the brand doesn't align with your brand, bounce. If women were to stop tolerating cheating, men would have no one to cheat on or to cheat with. It's time for us to put our foot down. Seriously. Don't settle until you find something wholesome and fulfilling. Something you won't fear bragging about because you're worried that you might be sharing it with other people. If cheating were a norm, it wouldn't cause so much heartache and complications. Men don't forgive cheating, so why are you forgiving it? Never will you ever hear a man say, she can do as she pleases so long as she comes back to me. Ha <laughs> ha! Never! Men always put themselves first, even during the act of cheating. The goal is to please themselves. And it's high time we learned a thing or two from them. Something that will make you smile from ear to ear. From the jump until the wheels fall off exists. Don't settle until you find it or until it finds you. What you seek is seeking you. With that said, love and light. See you very soon.